Hello? Sorry I haven't uh, uploaded a video in a while. Um, if you've watched the other videos, you probably know why I haven't <laughs> uploaded in a while, of course. But anyways, having a little problem, parent problems, whatever, you know, um, arguing back and forth. And they keep holding the stuff I was going to do reviews on, and I'm finally getting it back now. I don't know why it's taking so long, but that's a discussion for another time. This, this video might be relatively short, since I only have a few packages to do, but enough to fit in this video. I have eight. Well, not eight packages, but... Uh, whatever. Um, figures to review. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna start with first. First, I'm gonna show you them in the box. I, just, I mean, the bag. But I just don't know which one I'm gonna start with first. Now, I'll just start by showing you this front one first. Anti Venom. Pretty cool. Like that. There's Carnage. These are all big, giant figures, of course. So, the Carnage. Mostly all Venom variants, of course. Here's another Venom variant. There's actually three Venom variants. There's one... Oh, this is the Riot. Riot Venom. Pretty cool. And here is another Venom, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is the Eddie Brock Venom. From inspired, some of these uh, are inspired by the movie Venom, which I'm not too sure is canon to the Marvel Universe yet, because obviously it's um, by Sony, and, you know, copyright's confusing and whatnot, but anyways, here is, uh, I believe this is Valkyrie's horse. Cool, I got that and picked it up because I thought... You know, Valkyrie is a good character, and they're under she's underrated, I guess. I don't know. I don't have the actual Valkyrie figure. I have her horse, so... Yeah. Um, I didn't really see a good variation of Valkyrie that I was pleased by, so that's why I haven't picked up the figure yet. But, I don't know. Uh, when I get the figure, I'll probably review that sometime, too. Uh, I actually had this one for a while, but I couldn't do a video for it until I had a bunch of figures. I wasn't just going to do a, vi a video on just one figure. It'd be too small of a video. Anyways, here's Colossus. I believe the X-Men Colossus uh, from the X-Men. And uh, we got... Come on. I know who this is. I'm just trying to see something on the figure. All right. Abomination from, uh, Hulk. Hulk, the Hulk villain, Abomination. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we're gonna start... I don't know, I'm gonna start with Valkyrie's horse. Uh, Valkyrie's horse didn't come with a stand, so, um, this is the figure. It's pretty generic, pretty cool, I kind of like it. It could be looking a lot better with a Valkyrie figure, it'd be kind of nice if it actually came with it. Or if it was Valkyrie and it came with her horse, I guess it'd probably be better. I don't know what you can do with just the horse uh, for Valkyrie without um, the Valkyrie figure, but whatever. It's pretty cool. Nice to get that out of the way. Now I'm going to do... Okay, I think I'm going to do Anti-Venom next, just because why not. Here is the Anti-Venom figure. He came with more pieces, but... um. They were irrelevant for the figure, sort of, because he had these weird claws that... I don't know, you kind of like build them, sort of, so I just didn't feel like building them, because I feel like this the figure looks better without the claws, so yeah. Yeah, whatever. Oh, there's a little damage there. Not the figure, but the base plate. I'd rather have that have damage than the figure, of course. But, um, hmm. What shall we do next? Hmm. 
really trying to figure out. Um, eh, I'll do Riot. Alright, uh, here is Riot. Oops, I dropped him. Hard to see. But he has uh, little spikes like he does in the movie. I'm just gonna pull it out really quickly. Throw this to the side. Um... I mean, these little spikes, if you saw these. Um, he has these little things in the movie. I'm actually surprised, uh, he has these sort of, I guess. How, and I'm kind of surprised how accurate it looks, to be honest. It's a little creepy or strange or something. I'm not going to show these though because I don't know if I'm putting it together right. So. That's why I'm not going to show him with these, him wearing these or whatever these things are. I really don't think I'm putting this together right. So I'm just not going to show it. <laughs> and that is that. Alright, here is the finished. Um. Riot. I don't know why I almost called him Carnage, cause uh, maybe because I'm gonna be doing that one in three packages. Uh, yeah, I told you I'm not gonna display his weapons or whatever, cause I don't know. They just look. I think they'll look weird if he has them. I think this is how they go on. I'm not even sure if they how they go on or not, but so that's why I'm not putting them on. Plus, he looks cool this way. I think Riot was able to regenerate, or not regenerate, uh, generate um, weapons out of his hands or something, so that's why he has those pieces, and that's, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Okay. Alright, um, I don't know what Venom this is, but, uh, I think it's Eddie Brock, it's just, he's like half Venom, like you saw in the movie, he's like half Venom and half human, kind of. And I didn't explain that right. This is another one of those buildable claws kind of things that looks kind of stupid and I'm not going to really do that. I'm going to build a figure because the figure's cool and I wanted a figure of course, it's just um... I don't want to have to build the claw. That, that should be something that's like included or something like like one whole piece or whatever. That just takes the excitement out of it. <laughs> if the claw is just one whole piece, that's just kind of boring for me. Um. Yeah. So in the movie, um, He was like mostly Eddie Brock when he could be, until a Venom symbiote kicks in, of course. And kind of controls him a little bit. But notably, you can see this part where when he he's like a split personality of himself, of Eddie Brock and Venom. Is the We Are Venom uh, part. Where his uh, face splits and you can see half of Eddie Brock and half of Venom's face, which is pretty cool. I like that, so I'm going to do, do the figure now. Here's the completed figure. Of, uh, like, I just call him Half Venom, probably easier that way. I, mean, I built the claws, but, uh, I don't know why, I'm just kind of bored, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to put it on him because it looks tacky and the figure looks fine the way it is. Next, I'm going to do, uh, Full Venom? Maybe Venom, I guess. I already did, um, I actually didn't really do a, a review, but, um, I already have this figure, and, uh, sorry, but I might give this one away. And it comes with an interchangeable head. I need to finish up the video because I'm running out of minutes, so I'm gonna do Carnage next now. Here's the completed Carnage figure, and now I'm going to do Colossal, Colossus next. I'm sorry I'm running out of time, but here's the Colossal, Colossus figure, and now I'm going to do um, Abomination. Here's the Abomination figure, it looks pretty cool, and he has little spikes on the back too. 
really nice. Alright, I'm running out of time now, so I gotta go. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you. Bye.